What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy, Jay Reed, for Time to Honda. What are we doing today? We scraping gaskets. See, and the reason why I'm scra scraping gaskets is because I need to put a new one on. If you watched the previous videos, you know I had a ton of oil leaks, but I think I got those fixed. Well, I think I got some of them fixed. We got a new gasket, and we got some screws. Now, I'm not using Honda screws for the actual um, valve cover. We got some more screws. We're gonna see if they work. I got this screw kit off Amazon. I've used it before in the past. It works great. So we're gonna use it again to see how good it works to do this particular job. Here's what I'm gonna be doing. These screws right here are stripped. They're old, they're 30 years old, they're stripped. So as you can see right here, I took this screw out. I am going to put this screw in, but shorter. We're gonna put them in all the way around on these four corners. I don't think I'm gonna bother with this one because that was not stripped yet, or this one, or this one right here because all of that may be more trouble than what it is worth. So now I'm finishing up scraping this oil gasket, the valve cover gasket. I'm getting the goopity boop off. We're gonna get the goopity boop off. And then, I don't know, I don't have much time because I'm at lunch doing this. But we're going to get the goopy de goop off. And hopefully we can fix this particular leak because I'm tired of it. But before I do any of that, I got to get this clean. I got to get all of this clean. At least the best that I can because I don't want any of, want any excuse. Because I don't know if you can see it, but there's oil over there. The oil was just shooting out. And I'm, and I'm wondering what's going on. And I got an oil uh you know, that's actually dangerous. We, we got oil shooting on the intake by the injectors. You get a little heat in that stuff and we got a fire and we got huge problems. So we're going to correct that. So I'm going to finish cleaning this off. See how far I can get. I'm going to take these out. Go ahead and get those out. At least I'm going to do that. So when I come back to do the next step, all I have to do is put the screws in, put the gasket on and, and torque it down. So... Yeah, let's get these bolts out and make it do what it do as quickly as possible. These are coming out relatively easy. And let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about when I say they're stripped. All right, you see this right here? There is no focus mother. There we go. Can you see that right there? There is no thread. So, you, so how am I supposed to torque down the valve cover if there's no thread? Well, that's why we're gonna fix it. We're gonna get some thread on it. So now that we got that cleaned off fairly good, we're gonna open up my screw box. Right here. And see if these screws are gonna work. Okay, so these are the screws. Now these actually have a flange on them, unlike the one that I tested out. So this would be even better. But I need to make sure I have some that's going to be the right length. And it looks like those will probably be perfect, the perfect length. Now we need to test it out to see if it's going to actually work. Those, those are definitely too thick. So let's try these. I need to be that, that thick. That looks pretty close. Let go, let go let go boom that works perfectly now we can put the cover on and see if we can tighten it down let's just try to go in and knock it out while i'm doing it stop playing y'all stop playing actually on second thought i really don't think i'm gonna have time so we're gonna have to come back out later because i gotta get back in my office We'll come back out later and do it. Three hours later. All right, folks, so we back out here. I'm fixing to finish up what I had started earlier today. The only difference is I had a little alcohol, so I don't know how much, I don't know how well it's going to work out, but we're going to make it work out. I should not have done that. Woo, so pardon me if this video is a little all over the place. Pardon me. Okay, we finna put these boats in. We fixing to put these boats in. We got this ready to go, somewhat, sort of, somewhat, sort of, maybe, somewhat, maybe, sort of. What do I need to do? Before I put this gasket on, I need 
to coordinate. Uh, yeah, we need to put the gas. Oh, RTV. I need to RTV them corners. Put the gasket on. And then, before I do that, though, I need to plan this out because I got one shot. I ain't messing up another gasket. So, we got one shot to get this right. So, uh, let's get it right. This kit actually looks to be a pretty good kit. Not only did it come with the little grommets, but it came with the metal piece, too. So, that's good. I wasn't expecting that. So, what I'm going to do, instead of using these metal pieces, I'm going to use the other metal pieces because I don't want to ruin these metal pieces just yet. And I'm going to drill the diameter out just a little bit so that'll get in there all nice. The plastic is fine. The rubber is fine. The little metal piece is not. So we're going to take the old ones, though, drill those out and use those so I won't mess up these. So let me get my drill, my bit, and get the bit. So these are the old caps. And this is what kind of bent it, kind of bent that, but this is what the drilling does. This one, um, this, these three already have caps on them. So I'm just gonna try to drill these out a little bit so I can slide the boat up in there like that one. So let me show you what I decided to do as a safety precaution. As a safety, normally I would just put RTV in the corners of the caps, as you can see. But since I'm not using the stock hardware, put a little RTV around the boats. We don't want no problems. We don't want no problems. So we got the RTV around the boats. We got it around the cam caps. Now we fix and put this gasket in and hope for the best. Got the holes cut out for the, uh, for the boats. Man, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we got this cheap gasket in here. It's cheap. The other one, the Fail Pro looks way better, way better. I hope I don't have no issues with it, but you know, we're gonna make it do. We're gonna make it do. See what it do, but I need to hurry up and quit playing around before this RTV dry. Let me put this thing on. All right, guys, it didn't turn dark. I think we got it torqued good. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we got them down. So if you're thinking about doing this, it works so far with the boats. It's a whole lot easier. Torque down nice and good. I don't know what I'm showing y'all. So let's put it, let's make sure, let's make sure and button this up. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Y'all don't wanna see the rest. You've seen the most important part. This your boy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We still grinding out here with the EF, we still grinding. <music>